We've worked our way through the basics of vector objects and shapes and dealing with the multiple objects, properties bar, outlines, and fills. In this session, I'd just kind of like to wrap that up with a very simple vector trace project, and that'll be the simple soccer ball. And this is actually a bitmap, so it's got pixelation. I might be able to trace this in power trace, but I want to take a look at tracing this so you can see some of your different options that are available to you while you're tracing objects in draw. To do a trace like this, the first thing I'll do is select my object and I'll give it some transparency just to give it some contrast while I'm working on it and tracing it. The next thing I'll do is I'll take my pick tool and I'll right click on this and select lock object. I'm going to lock this so that I can't select it. If I click on it, I can't select it. It's not going to interfere with my work while I'm tracing it. Now looking at this, I'm analyzing how I'm going to trace this. Now many times by default people will start go working and clicking through with a Bezier tool. Now by default I try to avoid that because what I'm looking at is shapes. I can see I've got an ellipse here that I can make that shape with by converting outline to object. I can see that I've got these line segments here that I can make by converting outlines to object. And I also have what appear to be some polygon objects that I can work to create the shapes with that go here in the soccer ball. So to get started, first thing I'm going to do is create a polygon. And I'm going to come here to my polygon tool and I'm going to want five-sided polygon. And I'm just going to create that as a perfect polygon. And you can see that that shape matches the shape very closely to the shape that's in the actual soccer ball. I'll bring this shape over here and I'll zoom in and I'll look at how can I get this to fit where I want it to fit and then make some minor adjustments to it. I'm going to convert to curves and I'm going to go ahead and line myself up with this corner at the bottom here click again and skew and bring this right over here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit different with this. I'm going to go ahead and select all of my nodes here, I'm going to come up here and hit reduce, reduce nodes and slide out. And that's going to delete all of the nodes that are in between the areas of my polygon. Then I can just simply click this node, bring this here, do the same thing here, and bring this node over to here. So I've got all these points set up. Then I want to select all of my nodes in my polygon here and come up here and convert everything to curves. And then all I need to do is left click on this line segment, bring it out here, do the same here, bring that out here. This stays fairly straight. This is going to come off just a little bit more than on the top. And then this one is going to come out over this way quite a bit. Now I can zoom in and really tighten these up to almost exact by just moving my nodes down here and here and pulling them out and reshaping the shape of this. And we'll pull this back in this way here. So there I started with a shape. I didn't start with the Bezier tool for that shape right there. Now for these lines, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to work with the Bezier tool. I'm going to go to my Bezier tool. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to create a line here. And I'm just going to left click, hold down, drag, and create another line segment that's basically centered right through there as you can see there. And then I'm going to actually, actually I'll hit control Z. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, pull out this way, come to here, pull this down until it's pretty much centered, change to a cusp, and then pull down into this line here and arch that out just a bit right about there. Now because I've got node tracking enabled, I can click here and I can make some adjustments to this directly while I'm tracing. I want to go to my pick tool, click off, I'll go to my bezier tool and I'm going to create another bezier. It's just going to go from here to there and end in the middle of the outline. And I can go back to my shape tool here and I can see this is pretty close but not right exactly like I'd want it. I really want to be right along the center here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my object properties docker and I'm going to give that say a 10 point outline that's too much let's go to 8 
still too much, we'll go down to 6. And I'm looking at 6, and I'm saying, well, we might want 5. And 5 appears to be pretty good on the size. Or we could go down to 4.5. 4.5 and hit Enter. And that actually looks better. So we know we want to have a 4.5 point outline. Select this one, and I'll just key in 4.5 and hit Enter. Now, for the time being, I'm going to want to work with 4.5 for my outlines. Because what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take these lines as I create them. I'm going to go up here to Arrange and select Convert Outline to Object and weld these together and do the same thing here. Multiple objects selected, weld, and now you can see I've got that part of my vector design traced out. So clicking off in my workspace, I'm going to change this to 4.5 for now and hit Enter. And I'm going to change this as my graphic and select OK and you'll notice now that as I start to work with the Bezier tool I'll come in here and I'll drop a node there and pull that out it's at 4.5 hit Control Z I want to start that over come out here drop a node here pull that out and I can see I'm probably a little bit off there so I'm going to hold down Alt and just move it till that node is perfectly centered and then I'm going to hit my C key change direction here release and then I'm going to pull over here into the outline, just like that. And then I'm just going to hit my space bar and hit it again, and that'll, that'll take me off of that object onto another object. I'll pull into here with another 4.5 set up on the Bezier, and I can do the same thing down here. Oops, Control Z. I want to hit my space bar. That'll take me off. Hit that again, and that's just a shortcut to get off of the Bezier tool and then get back to it. Now I can see here that I was off just a little bit, but I can adjust that by going to my shape tool and just bringing that right back up to there like that, and then arch this just a little bit with the shape tool. Go back to my Bezier tool, and I can see I've got one here that I need to address. So I'll just click here and then pull right up into here. Left click, hold down, pull. And I'm going to do this all the way around. I'm going to hit my space bar to get to my pick tool and then I'm going to hit it again to go back to Bezier. That's just to get off of the work I was just doing with the Bezier. Lay down a node here, pull this way, and then come down here and lay down a node and pull this way. I can come back here and smooth this out a little bit with my shape tool and pull this back this way and just make sure we're on those lines correctly. Same thing here. Space bar to get to my pick tool, space bar to go back to Bezier, left click here, left click there. That's pretty straight there. Spacebar again to get off and back onto my Bezier tool. Left click here and then I'm just going to left click here and pull and there's that segment. Same thing down here. Spacebar to get off, spacebar to get back on. Left click here and pull right into this segment here and that's that line segment. Spacebar two times zoom in here and then we're going to arch quite a bit coming down here and we're going to come in this way here and we're going to bring that over that way and we're going to space bar two times to get off of that and then we're going to click here and we're going to pull up here into the outline just like that space bar two times and we'll pull this off here and we can see that we kind of missed it here I want to go to my shape tool and just tweak that out a little bit and we'll get this in here so we've got the exact path of that object. Same thing here, two times with the space bar. Up, oh, we got to go back to the Bezier tool there. Left click here, pull down this way. More of the same. Go back to my shape tool and bring this right here. And then we're going to go back here to the Bezier tool and we're going to bring this up into here. And everything's been done add an outline of 4.5 and we've got all of our outline or lines set up here. Now the next thing for me is going to be that I would go ahead and select these objects just go here at range convert outline to object. Do the same up here lasso and select them all, arrange convert outline to object. So I have all of these objects set up here. Now the next thing I do is I just got to make these couple of areas here. 
Now this one's pretty simple and it's not going to be that big of a deal with the bezier. I can see that I missed an outline here. So I want to pull this down here, arch that just a bit, and I'll go to Arrange, Convert Outline to Object. Here I'll click off and go back to my Bezier tool, and I'll just go ahead and click to create the points here. Right there, and there, and there, and then I'm going to come in right up through here, where will be my outline. I'm going to change this outline to 0.5. And go back to my shaping tool, right click, make this to a curve, and pull this in this way. And we can see that this is pretty well set here. I just want to pull this down in here a bit and bring this out here just a bit. And we can pull this up here just a bit. And we'll probably want to pull up this node here up into there. Right click here to a curve, pull this in just a hair, and we've got that shape there. Two more to go. Now here I could go with a polygon, but I'll just whip it out here with the Bezier tool. And we'll just go click, click, click here, we'll click there, we'll click there, and we'll click there. Now I'm just creating straight objects here. Now this isn't closed, so I want to left click this node and close this. There we go. I'm going to go and change this to a 0.5. I'm going to lasso everything and select Convert to Curves. I'm going to come here, left click, hold down, and drag this right down to there. Do the same thing here. Everything's been lassoed and converted to curves. Do that here. And we'll do that here also. All of this being done, we'll go one more time here. I'll come and click here. I'll click there, 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 and there. And then we'll just click our way through here. Go up here in my object properties docker and change my outline to a hairline. Get my shaping tool, lasso everything, left click, hold down, release, to curve. I'll come up here, drag this down, and I'll left click and pull that there. We've got that shape set up. Now at this point, with everything having been set up shape wise, go ahead and delete this polygon. I'll lasso everything here, come up and click on weld and fill all of that with a black no outline so now we've got our soccer ball set up and instead of going around tracing on the inside of everything now it looks like we had an issue here when we welded so I'm going to hit control Z and go back to before the weld so I want to see what the issue is here and there was something that didn't quite go well when we did that weld here and that's because this is not converted to an object so we want to go convert outline to object and now we can go ahead and lasso everything and select weld and fill it with black and we've created using shaping tools and the convert outline to object all these lines we'd have to go around clicking on the inside of the bezier tool with the white areas next step very simple get the ellipse tool we'll start out around the center of the object holding down shift and control and create a perfect ellipse that's going to be just about identical to the size of the soccer ball. And we're going to give that an eight point outline because it has a bigger outline on the graphic than what we had with the pen. And we can see everything's fitting in very nicely here. This I'll take, arrange, convert outline to object. I'll select this object in the middle. Go ahead and select weld. Now I've got this soccer ball set up as a more or less which would look like a combined object and what I want to do at this point is right click on this and select break curve apart now I'll go to view wireframe so you can see what happened there we still have all of our objects it's just we broke everything apart at this point what I'll do is I'll select everything in my graphic but I'll hold down shift and deselect the background and fill all of this with white and then we'll go to view enhanced and then I'll go ahead and I can weld that or I can combine that and I'm going to combine that and then I'm going to right click on the X in the middle now I just lost that what I want to do is go ahead and select my black circle here I'll right click that and select order and go to back of page and here's my soccer ball set up with my white and my black 
Now, this trace technique that we're working on, we can see we're working with shapes, convert outline to object, the Bezier tool. And we want to be aware of how to use all of this and then working also with the multiple objects properties bar. So this is just a simple wrap on vector tracing and some of the different techniques we can use. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.